On Sunday the 6th of January 2019, an 18-year-old woman from Saudi Arabia tried to fly to Australia via Thailand to escape Sharia law and seek asylum. But she was stopped in Thailand when her family and the Saudi government reported her to the Thai government. Despite her passport being taken away, she decided to lock herself inside a hotel room, go on social media and ask the world to help. And the world heard her voice. She escaped Saudi because she's renounced Islam which means her family and her government would kill her if she returns home. They are following what Quran says. The punishment for leaving the religion is death. Imagine being 18, alone in a foreign country, whilst a whole government is after you. And all for what? For being a woman who wants to have freedom. Rahaf was supposed to be deported back on Monday morning, but the UN Refugee Agency managed to stop that from happening. But that doesn't mean she's safe. As things stand now, no country has officially offered her asylum. Also, her father has arrived in Thailand, which puts her life in danger again. My family and I know that feeling. I was born under Sharia law in Iran. We managed to escape and get offered asylum by the United Kingdom. So I'm asking our Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt and our Prime Minister Theresa May to show whose side they're actually on. The barbaric Islamists or the victims of that culture? If Australia don't come to rescue Rahaf, we as the United Kingdom must help. I don't want to live in a country that ignores genuine political refugees like Rahaf and instead letting terrorists and the same barbaric extremists that Rahaf is escaping. So please share this video to raise awareness and contact your MP and ask them to lobby the Foreign Office on your behalf. Uh, I want uh, asylum. 